Ready to see some shrimp? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again coming at you today with a video. I'm just going to show you my shrimp tanks. I'll take you on a walkthrough on all um, six of my tanks that I've got right now that are dedicated just to shrimp. Um, let's start here with uh, the crystal red tank. Um, they're all mobbing on uh, some food right now. But I've uh, really had some good success breeding these guys. As you can see, there's shrimp of all sizes in here. I've got uh, multiple buried females at the time. Uh, see if I can find one for you. But uh, they seem to be pretty cons consistently uh, breeding. So that's good. Um, these are, I'm ready to start selling and have been. So if you're interested in buying some Crystal Reds, uh, let me know and we'll work uh, work something out. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, the tank's looking decent. Um, I've got some uh, mini Christmas moss and some, some Wasser Tang are the main two plants in here. Um, kind of letting the mini Christmas moss grow out a little bit, uh, but I do pretty regularly uh, make that available for sale too. So. If you need some of that ever, let me know. Oh, I think that's the buried female right here, one of them. Yeah, there she is. Well, we're not going to be able to focus in on her because of the algae on the glass. So, anyway, got some floaters. Two, um, frog bit and uh, red root floaters is what I'm using on these tanks. So, I need to thin that out because the you can see the roots are getting pretty long and I don't like the way that looks but uh, this tank here are the carbon rillies and there's not many out right now there's a few right here I just got in a shipment of 20 new ones yesterday from my buddy Daryl DET Aquariums um, if you haven't subscribed to his channel make sure you do he's got a lot of great stuff for shrimp keeping um, and what I've got in here, as you can see, it's really overgrown, is peacock moss and subwasser tang. Um, and then I've got probably a total of 35 carbon rillies in here. Haven't had too much success breeding them. They have bred. I've seen shrimplets from time to time, but never a huge amount. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, I guess. We'll continue to keep trying. This is going to be a shrimp tank uh, soon. Um, I've got everything ready to go. I just haven't had the time to set it up yet. Over here we got the red really tank. As you can see, a bunch of red reallys here out front. And in here I got a tank full of Java moss um, and some Subwasser tang in there too. It's like a crypt growing there too. I don't know how that got in there, but whatever. So these guys are looking pretty good. I just got in uh, 30 of these the other day too, so we'll see how they do and add to the pack. They got a lot of hiding room here so you don't see them as many, so I'm going to thin out this moss in both of these tanks, that way you can see, you know, like there's not as much moss in this tank so you can see the shrimp a lot uh, more often, which is what I like. So we're going to kind of thin things out in these other two tanks. but. That's what I got down here. I'll take you upstairs uh, and show you the, uh, the other ones. Alright, so we will start here with the five gallon um, blue velvet tank. Things are still going good in here. I'm not having like an overabundance of breeding, but it's happening from time to time. They're eating right now in this petri dish. Um, yeah, there's shrimplet right there, so there has been some breeding going on. Actually, a few of them. So that's cool. There's one real big beast in here that's just really cool looking. I wish I could find him right now. 
Uh, so this tank uh, has a little bit of java moss, a little bit of guppy grass, some nice crypts back in the corner. And uh, it's just doing its thing. Low maintenance, don't really have to do much with this, or any of the shrimp tanks for that matter. Um, next, take you down here. This is my yellow tank. I've had uh, for a couple of months some yellows and then I just yesterday got in a shipment of some more. You can see the ones that are more colored up are the ones I've had for a while and the newer ones still haven't quite colored back up from shipping. Got them from the same source so I'm confident they will. But I'm digging these guys too. Um, haven't noticed any breeding yet. Oh, there's still one red cherry in there from... This used to be a red cherry tank so I'm going to have to get him out of there. Um, and uh, you know just some java moss in here, a little pearl weed, and still some uh, dwarf sag um, that uh, I had from when I had that planted pretty heavily in here in the past and uh, the roots just seem to keep popping up every so often a couple new plantlets here and there so so these guys are cool And then finally the red cherries now are all just in this one tank. Not really sure, um, it's kind of weird. At one point I had probably a hundred in here and now I don't. I didn't sell any, I didn't get rid of any. I didn't see dead shrimp laying around so I don't really know, but if you look in back on the back wall, there's just tons of shrimplets. They like to hang out on the back wall. So I'm assuming, unless they're dying off at a young age for some reason, that um, this tank should be pretty, um, pretty well repopulated soon. Um, but yeah, these are just basic red cherries. Um, some of them are a little bit higher grade. Uh, I don't know the the categories all that well yet, um, so I don't know if you'd call some of these painted painted fires or Taiwan or whatever. I don't know, but you can see like this guy right here. Oh no, I lost focus. Sorry. Some of these guys are a lot more red than others, but anyway, that's what I got for you right now on the shrimp. Um, I will, uh, once I get that, f that tank downstairs set up and have something going on there, I'll be sure to update you on that. Try to keep you guys updated on the shrimp. Um, thanks for watching as always, and make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Um, check them out. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Um, and make sure you subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support uh, on their YouTube channels. Those will be linked below. Thanks for watching, guys.